What's up guys, Aaron from Fresh Tech Integrated here, and we're about to head into Allison Park Church to get a brief overview from Nick and Brendan about the different production systems that they have. Hey everybody, my name is Brendan. I'm the experience director here. My name's Nick, I'm the technical director here. We're here at front of house at our Hampton campus. This is also our broadcast location. Just gonna walk you through some of the equipment that we're using here every weekend. Um, right here, this is our front of house console. We're running an SD12 um, using the Waves package with this as well. Um, this console has been really great for us um, just as we've expanded our IO needs, um, but also been really great for volunteers to be able to hop behind. Um, we also have two racks down here. One of these is handling all of the front of house uh, needs as far as with smart and RTA and reference and all that kind of stuff, um, as well as housing, you know, our Waves computer and the sound grid server and all that stuff. Um, and then we've got another rack here that handles all the system processing uh, for the rig here in the room. Um, now over here, this is where our producer, um, our room producer sits. Um, and they've just got, you know, a pretty simple station, little multi-view with some stuff they need to see um, and different clocks. And then they've also got a computer here they're using for notes uh, for however our main communicator is on the weekends. And then this is our lighting station um, as well as Resolum. Um, and so this is kind of everything that's happening in the room, both with visuals and with lighting is all happening here um, and ties in with systems around the building. All right, so we're out here at drums. Uh, we have our Ableton rig over here that our drummer is predominantly firing. Um, we have a couple things with this. Um, this computer is running Dante Virtual Sound Card. That's how we're sending tracks from Ableton into our system. There is a Dante card in the SD12 at front of house. Um, with Ableton here, they have a button controller so that the drummer can uh, program these to certain songs, be firing the songs just from a button instead of jumping into Ableton. Um, Ableton is also sitting on our production network so that we can control it um, from other places. This allows us to screen share into it if there's a problem, as well as we are using an instance of QLab in front of house. Um, and the actual room producer in front of house is firing our first um, track, which is our countdown. That comes from Ableton, but is fired from front of house um, so that that room producer can have control over when that starts. All right, so we're back here at monitors now beside the stage. This is where our monitor techs operate from. We have a Digico S21 here. Um, we're able to interface that with our larger OptiCore network um, via an OptiCore box that will take our fiber um, from the larger Digico consoles, convert that down to MADI, and that is how this console is able to communicate with those other consoles and stage racks on the network. So this is operating um, over MADI. Um, as well as this console back here, we have a small little monitor with some of our main clocks um, and a program feed on it so that our monitor techs can have a better perspective on what's going on and see what time's left in the service. Um, there's also a talkback uh, mic system back here that allows them to either talk to the band um, or alternatively, they can talk to the audio comm channel um, so that they can be communicating with the rest of the team. And then we also have a small little comm system over here that allows um, them to have both their Q um, bus on the console so that they can listen in to different band members' mixes, as well as hear comm back directly into their in-ears at the same time um, so that they can choose to do either function um, and don't have to switch headsets. So here we are backstage. This is where a lot of the brains of what's happening on stage happens. So behind me, we have our um, amp ISO cabinets um, that we had custom built for us um, by Fresh Tech. These give us the option to make connections inside this amp cabinet, also to pull this amp out um, to make changes, position microphones, which is really convenient, um, especially being in a smaller space back here. And then next to that, we have our brains for what's happening with video and lighting. So this is where we have our LED wall driver, lighting optos that are splitting out our DMX signal. 
as well as our motor controller, which is how we load our set designs in and out, um, which is great that we can bring that stuff up and down. Um, and then wrapping around to here, we have our audio wireless rack. Um, this is where all of our wireless handhelds and in your monitors are happening. Um, this was also all built for us so that we could take it off site or take it other places in the building, which has been really great. We've moved this out multiple times. And then above that is the SD rack, which connects to the SD12 and all the other Digico consoles um, in front of house, um, as well as a split out so that we can connect into the S21 monitor console. All right, so around the back here, this is where all of our patching for audio is able to happen. Um, we had a lot of old stage pockets that in our previous audio system were tied in right to the console. Didn't give us a lot of flexibility. Um, we had Fresh Tech come in to um, basically take all these stage pockets that already existed, terminate them here into a patch bay um, and mesh them so that we could patch them as we needed them to our SD rack here, which gave us just a ton of flexibility to be able to move band inputs around the stage, still have them show up in the console where we want them to show up. Um, instead of the old system that we had where it was just one-to-one. -one. And then as well as the stage patching stuff back here, um, we have tie lines for a lot of different things. So we have some audio network tie lines, we have some lighting network tie lines, DMX tie lines to front of house, as well as some MADI lines and BNC lines. This allows us to um, be flexible with our infrastructure and do different things um, patch Dante into the stage, um, things like that. It gives us a lot of flexibility uh, in order to make different things happen. So here in the auditorium, our camera package is uh, Sony FX series cameras. We use uh, FX9s at our main camera positions. We use FX6s as our stage roamers. The bodies are a good bit more compact, so it's a great form factor for our roamers. And then we also have uh, FX3 for our pre-show location, nice and tiny, uh, not a lot of frills there. Um, what's great about the FX9s for us is a few different things. Um, the glass that Sony offers for them, um, their servo lenses are really affordable and they hit the right focal lengths that we needed for our room, so it's definitely a big consideration when we were looking into these cameras. Um, another one was that uh, Sony has an amazing autofocus system that they've pulled from some of their other lines. Um, so it can literally be as easy for like a volunteer who has very little experience to come in and just aim and point the camera and it will um, grab that autofocus very consistently and predictably every time, um, which is also a strong consideration for us and our volunteer team running these cameras. Um, the last one's just the form factor. Their servo lenses are nice and compact. These bodies in general are very lightweight and nice and compact compared to other things in the same class of camera. Um, so it allowed us to keep our rigs um, simple, um, to outfit things like a jib um, very easily, and um, just check all those different boxes that we were looking for. This is our broadcast audio suite. This is where all of our audio is getting mixed for anything that's outside of the building, whether it be online, TV shows, or campus um, audio that's going out to them as well. Um, we're mixing on a Digico SD8. Um, this console has been really great for us. This has more I.O. than anywhere else in the building, um, which is really clutch for us because we have so much extra um, I.O. needed for all of the online and broadcast specific elements. Um, we're also running a wave server here, which is really great for all of our band stuff as well as all the mastering needs that we have. <laughs> So this is our video control room in here. This is where all of the graphics are happening, video cutting, producers, um, all that kind of stuff. So let me give you a tour real quick. This back row is a lot of um, kind of exterior stuff. So whether it's editing or Skype feed, stuff like that. The second row over here, this is where all of our CG machines are at. Um, so anything, lyrics, videos, graphics, any of that kind of stuff is gonna happen. And the front row is where our video director sits, our producer, um, kind of where the main um, calls are coming from every weekend. All right, here's our engineering room. Uh, this is where a lot of the brains of the equipment that we're running will happen for the video studio that's right next door. Um, this rack handles a lot of our computers and networking. So at the top here, we have some network patch bays, switches for a lot of our infrastructure. 
down here we have our computers uh, for our main CGs. These are running ProPresenter. Um, these are the Sonnet enclosures for the Apple uh, Mac Minis. Uh, we're running these with a Decklink card for output um, so that we're not using multiple adapters uh, and things like that, which has been really great for us when we migrated these into enclosures. Uh, it's been really stable. This is our uh, Skype box so we can do multiple Skype feeds. And then down here we have a computer from the auditorium. That's what's running Resolum, which is really driving all of the graphics for the LED wall, uh, some additional content. This next rack over is the audio rack. So here we have room control um, for the um, monitors that are in the other room for them to listen in, some calm things, um, different audio devices, the servers over here for the broadcast audio console. And then finally, an additional SD rack that is also on the OptiCore loop for our audio system so that we can um, handle all this media in here as well as the filming space next door um, and just have additional IO for those things. Uh, third rack here is the uh, core of the video rack. We have different recorders and playback devices here. Um, we use these to both um, record like our weekend services as well as play back different things and different pieces of content. From there we have um, our video sync um, where we're doing like reference and frame sync for video. We have our um, Resi server um, to do our live stream both um, out to online and to the other campuses. Um, this is how we're doing the multi-site. And then we have some video patch bays um, and below that our uh, switcher and router. Um, so this is where the core of all the video stuff's happening. And these three racks all um, have some core drills through the floor. We have cable tray out into our main um, video and audio spaces, which is how we're doing all the interconnect stuff. And it all comes back and terminates here. This space for us is uh, an additional filming space that we have. So this is right next to our whole video broadcast studio in the engineering room. Um, here we have some different spaces where we can film videos and have some different sets. Um, as well as further down the room, we can do green screen, multiple other sets. Um, we kept things really open in here. Open ceiling gives us a lot of flexibility to mount different things, configure different sets. We can have three to four different sets at a time if we really need to, uh, as far as filming things. So this space has been really great for us to have that flexibility and have the different options as well as storage and things in here um, related to film. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. I mean, while you're here, you might as well like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified each and every time we post a new video.